Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Mr. Blubberbutter and welcome back to Only If. This time we shall explore the white ending. We did the black pawn ending because, well, because. Just a heads up here, you can get an achievement by crouching and walking through here. Uh, I think it's You Are Not Santa Claus or something like that. Uh, that's another achievement you can get, I forgot to mention it the first time around. Also a heads up, in this area, um, uh, the, the language gets a little more intense, I guess. I didn't think it was that much offensive considering he's already used the F word, you know, quite a few times. But apparently some people found it incredibly offensive because they thought it didn't fit with the rest of the game or something like that. I, I thought it was kind of immature of them, honestly, because I figured this game is already pretty offensive. That's kind of the point of the game. This guy is supposed to be an offensive guy. But if that bothers you, there are some racial terms used. So you can skip ahead if you want. Choose the white pawn. Oh gosh, but the volume is really loud. Now nah, I took all this kill off. And by the way, the rest of the game acts as if you had not done the black pawn ending, so. The white pawn's death wraps you in valor. With valor comes responsibility. And with responsibility, you sacrifice for the sake of others. I wanted to kill you, Anthony. You were pathetic to me. But seeing how much you care for others, I now respect you. I gotta take the white key. And I start the white pawn ending. Which is the main ending, by the way. There's another achievement you can get here. There's a note here that says, Turn me on. This spot, right here. Actually, there are a few ways you can get up here. The way I found that's easiest to get up is to jump on the chair, but this is how you get an achievement. There you go. You look at that, and you have to look at it for not very long, like three seconds, and you get an achievement one day, and it's some concept art from a future project of his, I guess. But there you go. That's, what, the fifth achievement? No, you know, you also got another achievement for finishing the Black Pond ending sequence. So that's six, I think. Oh, no, the Insanity one, too. So that's seven, I think. Yeah, anyway, turn this thing on. You turned me on, Anthony, you know that? And this Let's is the part that's offensive, I guess. Sweetie, name me something sweet. Wait, how is this relevant? Give me something. Like oh, what? No, okay. What do you mean? Anthony, I've got a if you solve this on your first try, you get another achievement. And I'm gonna fail so you know what happens. Wait, but no, uh, wait, wait. There you go. That's what happens if you fail. If you look over here, this sign says, only if you can type in real life is what IRL stands for. What that means is you have to type on your computer the answer to this riddle. Listen to it again. Turn me on, Anthony, you know that? Let's just get this over with. Sweetie, name me something sweet. Wait, Honey. how is this relevant? H O N E Y. Like what? Anything. What do you mean? Anthony, I've well, got a just fucking wait. gun named that you. If you don't type out what do bees make, I'm having you for lunch after a dead day. <laughs> fuck you up, I want to fuck you up. Five. Wait, but four, no, uh, what? Wait, wait, honey. That's right, sugar honey. And what's honey without Anthony? Dad, the radio, son. I'm gonna do some magical shit. Fucking boom. Here's a sneak peek to your next trial. Fun fact, this th the next sequence you're gonna see was not in the original game. Originally, he had a uh, level planned out where um, he had a door that was way too small, and so you had to type in uh, shrink me or something like that to turn small like Alice in Wonderland, which he mentions, and you get into the next section and there are gnomes that were trying to kill you. And uh, you had to turn yourself big again to avoid it. And he said that the, with the time frame he was looking at, he couldn't create the level, so he made this next one. Which, unfortunately, is not very optimized, just like the Black Pond ending, so the frame rate is going to drop a stupid amount. Oh, wait, no, that's Vinny. not this part. It's the next one. Vinny, you there? Sam? Is that you? Wait, who is this? It's me. It's, it's, it's me, Anthony. You, you invited me to your party yesterday. Anthony? Oh, yeah. Sam, your dad's been driving me crazy. You met my dad? <laughs> yeah. Stop it! Why? Because my dad runs a business near the countryside. You drive me crazy. Stefano tends to relate me to her at night, but I mean, I did shave bald and all, but... You aren't her dad, aren't you? <laughs> you see what I mean? I get this all the time! Then who is her father? Brittany's 
I don't know. Google it if you survive. <laughs> Who's Britney? How has a 90s kid like you never heard of Britney Spears? You know, you drive me crazy. You know that one. That in case, you know, I've actually never heard that song. Kid. I was talking about how my buddies relate to me. Yeah, and again, I'm not a huge fan of Britney Spears or pop in general. You're getting a little suspicious. I like that in a man. <laughs> Drugs. To sacrifice yourself. <laughs> to drink this shit. You drink this, you survive. You get out of here, you go fuck you a shit. If you don't survive, <clears throat> well, you're fucked. Like the rest of the kids that try this, huh? <laughs> I'll throw you in the skeleton closet and toss you down the bottom of a lagoon. Do you want to end that way? Huh? If not, start walking. Yay. That little part at the end. Yay. I don't really know what that means. Now. These things spell something. Stay around. Or stay... Walls. The walls stay around. I think. Anyway, um... You're gonna drink this. In case you haven't noticed, the voice acting in this is superb. Uh, especially for a free indie game. Usually you get some really crappy ones made by... No, no offense to anybody who's done this, but made by some... Teenager in his room. Which isn't always really bad, but it's usually clearly not professional quality. This, the voice acting of this is pretty high quality. Let's drink this stuff. <laughs> that was lazy. What now? Hang on, just give me a sec. One second. Hey, 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 Anthony. Uh, have you watched that movie, uh, Inception? Yeah. You remember the whole idea about planting an idea and, uh, you know, the walls going topsy-turvy? Do you, 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 you recall that? Oh, oh. Well, they might uh, have... Oh, oh, no, no, no. No, 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 don't kill me. Yeah, in case you haven't noticed, I started to lose consciousness as the blackness touched me. No, don't kill me! Oh. Can't open this door. What happens is all you have to do is hit the button, and everything is gonna go into place. And I think you can interrupt them to follow. Hang on, I think I think I heard Sam's voice just now. That was supposed to be a hallucination, and everything else is supposed to be real now, huh? And I'm going down there. Don't you that's that's what she said. The way you're acting, it Maybe. seems like Never I mind. should. If you go down there, I'm really tired. I'm gonna be taking something that belongs to you. I know what it Sam. is. No, Casanova. All right, look. Shut up. This time, fuck you, not me. You. I'm out of here. And Anthony, come on. I, I told you earlier that I was starting to like you. Don't break this thing. Have Just <laughs> shut up! There was never a damn thing to begin with. Yeah. Alright. Geronimo! Ow, okay, or I could break my pelvis. Geronimo! Why'd you do it? Because you've done a lot to me. A lot of things have been misunderstood. I'm oh. gonna be frank with you, Anthony. I've been trying to get through to you. I'm not actually the bad guy here, and nor are you. And you shouldn't be. I'm an old dog trying to teach a new bitch my ways. <laughs> Excuse me? Positivity, Anthony. If this old dog was an old friend, then me calling you my bitch wouldn't be so insulting, now would it? B -b -boy. Bitch. <laughs> I don't find that the least bit funny. <laughs> you fuck your ways. Keep them to yourself. I want to get out of here, you fucking jobless, bold fuck. Trash talking, aren't we? Don't you have a job to get to? Get a wife, stop using your right hand, you <laughs> clamming, everlasting <laughs> bastard. Now, I was just thinking, what if trash had to have your voice? Would it be in better use? Thinking, thinking, thinking. What are you talking about? I got nothing. Yeah. 
He took my voice. Anthony, you have thrown your voice into the bin. He literally threw my voice into the trash. It's kind of a douche move. Right here, the frame rate drops a ridiculous amount. You look back here, it goes up to 30. Almost. Here, it drops down to 10. Now, uh, Racer Game Booster is making this run a little better, and I thought turning my graphics quality down a little bit would help, but it doesn't seem to be doing much for me at all. It's running at 11 frames per second, which is exactly what it was doing before, so that kind of makes me feel bad. You guys could have been watching this at a higher setting. Oh, I can't interact with trash cans yet. Okay, you guys have to wander around until you hear him talk. This is important to remember this location. Hey, now I'm going to type back on my keyboard. Keyboard, hey. Can I talk to you? What if I say no? Uh, yes. Yes? Yes. You're a millennial, aren't you, Anthony? Yes. Reality creator, show me where the blue flower stands between the red ones. Now I want to try something different that I've actually never tried here. Obviously this is it. Where is it? Here. H-E-R-E. -E. I'm typing on my keyboard. Show me where the- is the flower mired or is it cats decide? I'm gonna type in cast aside. I typed in cast. You shape your realities. I'm merely a clock, yet you showed me empathy. Okay, see, if I said admired, it made it a fountain. And I like the fountain better, but oh well, this works. Trash talking, are we? Okay, well, this is a nice little touch, but no, I, I did like the, uh, the fountain better, so I would type in admired if I were you, but that's just me. From this point on, now you're going to the trash cans and hitting E to plunge into it and get your voice back. I. That is an I, even though it could be one or an L. I happen to know since I've completed it. Oh, there's one. And I think there are six of them. I have. I have power. And apparently, no voice. There's one trash can. Hey, hey guys. Hey, I hear your voices. Help me! Help me! Come on, get me! Uh, he, he, he stole lots of things from me. He locked me in this weird room, and he, 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 he took my voice. Which means I can't be yelling or talking to you in the first place. So, I guess that interaction sounded more like... I have to... I have to... Get my voice? Another one. Nope, oh, that's not it. This happens when you have a low frame rate and it lags. I have to find. I have to find my voice. I have to find some more trash cans. Yeah, that's nice. In a previous version, this used to be important, but not anymore, I don't think. I have to find some of. Oh. I have to find some of, some of, uh, I don't really have anything at this point. I have to find some of, I have to find some of that, some of that advice, that painting. Oh, there's one over here, and this was an annoying one to find before. Just follow the rocks. I have to find some of that. Which I thought was really sketchy the first time I read it. I was like, I need to find some of that D. Really? I need to find some of that D? Really? What am I going to do with some of that D? Well, that's not quite what he meant. Maybe. I don't know. The guy's weird. I'll pretend to understand him. One more. Yeah, yeah thank you. I did gather that. However, I can't seem to find it. Ah, oh, there it is. I have to find some of that vitamin D. You can't read it because it's white on white. Okay. Somewhere along here, a path opened up. Is this it? Yes, there it is. Alright. This maze opened up. Oh, fun fact. There's an invisible wall. You can't jump over this. I thought that was disappointing. Follow the beautiful flowers. There's a trash can here, but first... Wow, well, no. Let's get this out. It says... I can't remember the last time I sat down to appreciate nature. 
And all of this, by the way, looks phenomenal if you have it on the right graphic setting. But unfortunately, I do not because I have a crappy computer. Boo-hoo. Otherwise, this actually looks really pretty. Oh, well. Can't really appreciate too much nature. And now, the dicks have gotten changed up on me and made this a really free freaking annoying maze. Dead end. So I turn around to go back out. Oh, no. Dead end. I turn around to go back out. Oh no, it's another dead. Oh no, it's not. Oh, this is different. I thought a dead end. Dead end. Bleh. Never mind. Nothing here. Okay. I remember that happening. So turn around here. Oh, another trash can. What does this say? I don't remember that. You shape realities. Your only true obstacle is yourself. Well, myself is being a pretty good obstacle then. Oh, whoa. Okay. I don't remember that one. Okay, here we go. Creepy black mass while crows are crying. It's all creepy and scary, but there's nothing to do with plunge I am. Geronimo! Alright. You impress me. You honestly do. Your thirst for more is unquenchable. You are now a politician. Uh. Reacting, attempting to understand and change now. With a vision so short, you can't even see what's in front of you. Normally. I mean, normally, a politician would seek voices for their cause. But you ain't. Why are you still looking for yours? Oh, forgive me, forgive me. I almost forgot. You don't even have a voice in this! Yeah, jerk. Okay. I'm gonna pause the video here. It's a good place as any, and the next one, I believe, should be the last video. You all have a great day, and I, Mr. Blubberbutter, will see you later. Bye.